St. John's University, a Catholic institution of higher learning built on the bedrock of Vincentian principles. St. John's broke ground in Bedford-Stuyvesant, Brooklyn 147 years ago. Today, the 97-acre Queens campus is the center of its university system. It's also where I met up with its 17th and first lay president, Dr. Conrado Gempsaw. It's been three years since he assumed the role. How's it going? <laughs> oh, I've, I've been very excited when I came. I'm still very excited today af after three years. I, I believe that um, there's uh, lots of um, opportunities and, and challenges here. But St. John's is a unique, special institution. With new leadership comes new objectives. Gempsa already sees progress. After uh, a number of years where our um, enrollment uh, was declining, we came back with two strong years, uh, 2015 and 2016, with record uh, freshman enrollment. Um, not only that, we also improved by uh, almost five percentage points our uh, student retention. You're now looking 130, 140 students. Those are real human beings that hopefully we can help transform their lives. Gempsaw places considerable emphasis on teamwork. The university's new state-of-the-art business school with interactive workspaces and thousands of square feet of open air space for students to congregate exemplifies that commitment. Campus life is an important aspect of this ever-developing university, but it does come with a very hefty price tag. Uh, Vincentian University um, has a special mission. And, and that mission really is to help the poorest among the poor. In fact, the financial aid that we provide to our uh, students is among the largest in absolute dollars compared to any of the top Catholic universities in the country today. I visited the campus on study day. Students gathered in clusters preparing for finals, seniors eagerly anticipating graduation, and this year's commencement speaker, a man noted Vatican analyst and Crux editor John Allen describes as a credible successor to Pope Francis. Your commencement speaker this year, Cardinal Turkson, it's, it's a very bold choice. What message would you like Cardinal Turkson to bring to these students, or do you expect that he'll bring? Um, my expectation is that um, he will share with us his thoughts about a big problem, I should say a big challenge that uh, cross among all nations in the world, which is global homelessness. So it's uh, within the Vincentian goals and mission. And so Cardinal Turkson was a natural for us to invite. Dr. Gampasaw has seen the best of times in his three years at the university. He's also experienced the worst. On a personal note, um, the most difficult is when um, I am called by public safety that we have a, a student who has been rushed to the hospital um, for some reason. Those are not easy um, visits because how do you comfort someone as a father myself? Um, those are the times that, um, as the leader of St. John's, uh, I have to offer myself. Through the good times and bad times, students at St. John's approve of the job their president is doing. As our first lay president, it's pretty awesome because he is almost always at our student masses on Sunday nights at 5.30, and it's the largest gathering of students on campus every week, up to four, 500 people every week. The faith deeply rooted in the student body. I try to follow St. Vincent de Paul. That's the one that we try to hone ourselves by, and we've always been following that, and um, we know there are challenges, and I think our Holy Father has done a really good job of moving us in the right direction. Higher education. The landscape is evolving. Gempasa acutely aware of changes. Students of today, over half of them, start their college applications with their smartphones, right? And because of the influence of social media, communication is basically instantaneous. So leading an institution of this size, right, you have to be prepared to meet those new challenges which you did not experience as a student. And the future through the eyes of the man who made history by becoming the first lay president at one of the country's top Catholic universities is pretty bright. The university exists for our um, students. And, and I'd, I'd, I'd like to be, be remembered as someone um, emphasizing the importance of why we are a university.
we're really here to change and transform lives.